What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and my co-hosts tonight, as always, are Mike and Jesse. How's it going? What's up? At first, I thought you were going to replace us something just for tonight. Is that how? No, yeah. man. No, it was just... Oh, all right, good. Gonna, put my microphone up here a little bit more if you guys can hear me, my sultry tones. Guys, welcome to the discussion portion of the Season 7, Episode number 9 of The Walking Dead, entitled Rock in the Road. That's right. This is our discussion portion of our Rocky recap review. Road. Live here. Rocky Road. Junk. <laughs> love. Slop. I think reverse, but yeah. They get whatever. The <laughs> slop, whatever, man. Baby slop Ruth. loves Chunk. You can live with me now, Slotty. You can live with me now, okay? You can live with me now. Oh, dang it. Anyway, guys, what's up? Yeah. Sorry for the little interlude there. Um, yeah, so uh, guys, we're doing our little review, uh, our discussion uh, in this portion of it. We decided to break these videos up. Give you guys a little bit, uh, you know, I, I don't know. We just wanted to do something different, you know, and um, make it, you know, just separate them a little more so you guys can have all more content. Uh, sure. More focused content is what we're going for, guys. Yeah. Uh, so, again, this episode is number nine of season seven. This is the, the mid-season premiere. premiere. Uh, Rockin' the Road. This was a really good episode. Uh, so uh, let's just jump into it. Um, as far as little synopsis goes, what we have is Gabriel goes missing. Rick and company talk with Gregory and Ezekiel about, you know, fighting the saviors. And Negan is pissed. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> Go fucking fig. As right? always. What is, yeah, what is it he pissed that yeah. brick? You know? but, <laughs> I, I, I mentioned this on the live reaction, but guys, do you guys remember the, the image that's going around the net of Negan starting like this and then leaning back and then he's like all the way back like this? Yeah. <laughs> the fucking meme. God damn it, that shit is funny. I love you, internet. Internet, Way. I love you. <laughs> anyway, uh, guys, so why don't we get into uh, the hilltop? Let's just uh, really quickly talk about what, what transpired down at the hilltop beginning of the episode. Fucking Gregory, yeah. that dumb dickless piece of shit. He's a dickhead. Oh, my God. Yeah. I love that. I absolutely love that whole scene. Yeah. Uh, the part where Maggie walks out after Gregory's just being a douchebag, though, and like everybody's like, yeah, we'll fight. Yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, saved yeah. our lives yeah. to time and time, you know, like two times over. We'll fucking, we right. want to fucking fight. Yeah, um, Gregory, Gregory's going to get screwed in the end of this whole situation oh, because he's not going to have a place to run if half of his, uh, if not more of his people decide to fight along with Rick, you know? So he's yeah, going to have a change. Well, to, yeah, he's going to have a change. Yeah, but we still don't. We, did you even think they had that many people? You know, fighters? it seemed no. like there was, you know, a handful of people. So I yeah, think the hilltop think, seems like it has 20 people and that's it. Yeah. That place is fucking empty. Like, it doesn't look like it has anything. Yeah, so, and and who brought it all together? Enid, you know, had her little, so maybe we're seeing a little bit more of a a role with her. Well, she believes in Maggie, right? That's the thing. Yeah, so she believes in Maggie. Do you believe in Maggie? Do you believe in Maggie? Do, 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 do. How about Gregory forgetting Maggie's name or purposely? No, no, he calls her Margaret. Yeah, because that's her name. Her name is Margaret. He called Rick Ricky. You know? Mickey, yeah, God, I fucking love Xander. You're so good, yeah. Xander Berkeley. God, yeah. I love you. Always playing these sniveling but pieces of shit. What ha- I love you know, it. In the end, Gregory man. says, fuck yourselves, and we get the, the back door opens up, and we see all of Hilltop, who's ready to fight. I want to mention, though, um, and I had mentioned this to you guys again in the, in the live reaction, I think, or during commercial, whatever, but, you know, the fact that these people... They're dealing with the dealing with the dead. That's one thing. And now you're living your life knowing that there's fucking undead around you and you could essentially die at any time. And then you have then you have people who are killing you or want to kill you or maim you or take your shit. So it's like these people are like, well, you know what? We're going to fight. We're ready to fight. And I'm thinking like, fuck, man, if, if that was the situation, like these are fucking normal people. I mean, nobody's normal anymore, but these are people that are like, I'm ready to kill other people now. Like, yeah. Think about it. That's the fucking crux they're, of it. That's they're tired the of the bullshit. Shit. They're That's tired of the saying. bullshit. So think it's about not like what. They're, it, yeah, they're not doing it for no. You know, it's well, not obviously like they just, right. But yeah. like to, to get to for one human to get to the yeah. point where they're willing to fucking fight they're another human. Some and, shit. You know, yeah. Like <laughs> their life just sucks. Thought, it was just like shit, man. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anything else what on the hilltop? You yeah. Um. No, I don't think there's anything else that happened there. Is Hashtag fuck Gregory. Got it. Yep. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Kingdom. Let's get into the meeting. Oh yes. My Motherfucking God. Ezekiel. God damn. Yeah. Before I think we get it was... to the meeting, what? just when they're leading other King 
Ezekiel. Yeah, yeah. I like how they. I like how when they when they walk in. Well, before they even walked into the auditorium, there uh, we see Morgan, and I had said that too on the live reaction. I'm glad that we seen. Um, they didn't delay it. They didn't. You were like, do it out. now, motherfucker. I yeah, know. you know, yeah. and. Um, I'm glad to see we got a little interaction between Morgan and Rick and the group and and I them think asking saying about that before Carol. Before the episode even aired, wasn't you? That you was hoping he'd be yeah. there. As, well, as it started, you're like, they better fucking do this fast. This pace, yeah. <laughs> and we did see a quick pace, which is cool. It wasn't a whole episode of them traveling from wherever to wherever, you know. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, for 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 them to get right into the Morgan Rick interaction and Daryl interaction and asking about Carol and where she is and 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 Morgan not giving her up. Uh, yeah. Was was big, but, m- but the funny thing was when they finally get into the auditorium and and um, Jesus is forward and and uh, all the way down you know down He's the aisle and the, them, yeah. and the whole group is is like the back. hovering yeah. against the back wall because he's like hey guys uh, there's a fucking tiger right there he's like you know? oh yeah yeah I forgot to mention there's a tiger he's yeah. like oh yeah he's yeah, like, a yeah a tiger yeah um, <laughs> no but that was I mean that was so. A couple things happened that we knew what was was probably going to happen. Ezekiel, you know, first of all, he gets pissed at Jesus for letting for letting Rick and his group in on the on the secret that they have this particular deal where the saviors do not go into the kingdom. They meet them outside the kingdom. They do it peacefully. They do whatever. Ezekiel thinks he has a handle on this. He's a fucking moron because he thinks that. Don't get me wrong. I love the fucking character, but the fact that he thinks that he can actually has something with these people is fucking ridiculous. Isn't you have no rapport. You have no safety. Then, you know, so he reams him out for that, for uh, Jesus for that. And then, and then, you know, tells Rick essentially, you know, I, I'll give you my, my idea in the morning, my, you know, my answer. But, yeah. um, and then we have Morgan who's, this feels the same way. He asks Morgan, what do you think? And he's like, I think we shouldn't do it. But meanwhile, Mike, you know, oh, what Mike, what Mike, when Mike was saying that they were talking in the outside, he tells them, I saved Carol. I had to kill a man and I did it. Yeah. And they're like, yeah. yeah, duh, you had, to, of course, you fucking had to do it, you moron. Like that's what this is, you know. Well, so they are setting spoilers alert for the comics. Uh, they're setting them up for comic Negan saying we should capture him. Right. Oh uh, yeah. Well, I think that we've seen that from. Yeah, I agree with you with that. But I, you know, what Morgan probably bothered me the most in this episode because, you know. Just like Carol, how Carol decides now she's quitting the bullshit. She doesn't want to fight. She doesn't want to deal with anybody. Morgan annoys me because when is Morgan going to fucking wake up? We get the news to to Morgan in this episode that um, that uh, Abraham was killed. We get the news that Glenn was killed. We get the news that um, Spencer was killed. So, so it doesn't Morgan, enrage him. It doesn't make yeah, him that's what upset I'm saying, or angry. Bro. He's, just... he's like so... He's like he's like so zen, or I don't know what the fuck. He did his... have reaction though. Oh yeah, he, he did definitely, cool. but it but wasn't you know something what? that you thought that he would like. You know, exactly. I thought, knew, the tipping... like... I, I thought that would have been the I thought that would. He didn't been really know Abraham and them that well, though. If you think about it, no, he, he didn't he, even know Glenn look, that well. He he lived there with them for a long he, while. Yeah, okay? he, he knows, has not lived there as long together. as you think. They all work together. Dude, he was there, though. He made it to Alexandria. Of course he did. He made it to Alexandria. He was there before yet, Deanna fucking got wasted. Before the, He was there before the whole fucking... He has more connection with Daryl than he does with Glenn or anybody. Jesse, why, because why, remember, he Jesse, saved Daryl's him, life. Man? What's going on, bro? Why, why are you because fucking defending him? deserves Morgan. a chance. All right? Why def- uh, yeah, well... You- Fuck Morgan. F- hashtag right. fuck Jesse, Gregory and Morgan. Jesse was, right? even, Jesse was even getting Rosita's back. Um, which you really can't blame for that because Rosita's smoking, but um, no, that's not no, uh, you know even Rosie. Well, I think Rosita's picking on Morgan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, no, 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 okay, okay. So she blatantly was like, "Oh yeah, yeah." What do you think about your plan now? And it's like, yeah. you don't got to be a cocky little cunt well, to get your point across. <laughs> <laughs> but she does now, and she yeah. is like when she fucking tells Sasha outside. Sasha's like giving her like her two cents about the situation. She's like, "Why are you telling me that?" She's like, yeah. "Just because, just well, because we slept with the same guy doesn't mean we're friends now." We're like friends. Well, that's good to get into our next um, topic about the road because yeah. because Rosita tends to you know obviously after they leave the kingdom they're on the road we see their cars blocking um, and we see the trip wire where we got someone from the teaser. Of the dynamite yeah. hanging on the wire, yeah. and of course we're seeing a little bit more of the skills that Rosita possesses 
from being in the military or whatever her her backstory. Uh, I, yeah. I forgot exactly what she did, well, she but obviously she knew. Yeah. yeah, she knew um, how to how to deactivate the uh, you know the dynamite on the road, and it's obviously shit, a big. Yeah. yeah, it's a big. I, I want to point out. Chris and I were both right about that being coax cable. It was coax cable. Yep, that was actual. That was <laughs> That's coax one cable. for the boys. Is that how it is? Yeah. Type yeah. R, I believe, is what they call. It. No, yeah, yeah. But anyway, yeah, what yeah. gauge was it, right? Yeah. But um, yeah, no. So now uh, you know, collecting of the dynamite is 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 big. We were all laughing throughout that whole scene because it seems how they were. <laughs> they're like, not careful be very and... careful, and then they're running and throwing it on the <laughs> ground. And then she peels off. Sasha. Oh my god. Fuck man. Ooh. You know, I forgot about that in our, in our review. I probably should have maybe, well, you know what? Well, I guess that'd be considered story wise, and I did only give the story yeah. a four out of five. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah. Um, but I mean, you know, it, it, that was aside from all that stuff. We did have that whole thing was set. And of course, we were all fucking completely wrong. Like they're gonna have a chase scene. No, yeah. it wasn't a fucking chase scene. No, that was an amazing scene. scene. Yeah. It was an amazing scene, so nonetheless. Got, though yeah. the fucking I'll, wire. I'll explain that. Explain that. Yeah. They fucking so they they get all the all of the dynamite off this wire, and the it's been it's been clotheslined between two, you know, two cars. They both yeah. so Michonne and Rick. The fucking uh, the duo, all right, the the dynamic duo, both hotwire the cars on either end, and then they fucking take With off the steel freaking wire between them. Yep. Yeah. What would you say, Jesse? Like ghost ship? Yeah, like ghost ship. <laughs> Just like ghost if ship. You guys, <laughs> if you guys even know what I'm talking about, best part of ghost first, ship. Like, right five there. minutes of that first five minutes of that movie. That's all it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking you don't great. need to steal see the rest cable. Of the movie. Steal fucking cable to to your noggin. Right. So they and so they so they plow through like back. half of this herd that's that's a that's bearing down on them. Um and and then what kind of annoyed me was they get kind of Rick gets kind of caught up in the mix. Rick and Michonne both get caught up in the mix. And the zombies yeah. are not Okay. Would or would would the zombies would or wouldn't we know, they? We know what we know what the fuck would happen yeah. to. Uh, okay, they're, any they're other jumping. They're not pushing him, and like oh this God. isn't a fucking mosh pit. Well, they're trying to grab him. I'm not justifying it at all. It was horrible, but they're trying to grab him. It's, it's what is made it. They look surrounded like. them. You know, you know that that's like, like the eighth time that's happened to Grimes, right? Yeah. Where especially well, in the in the season in the season premiere. Off yeah, the fucking camper, they're pushing him and pushing yeah. him, and he pushes them back. It's like this isn't a push party, Rick. They're trying to yeah. bite you. They're hungry hey, for some grimes. That's you it. know, it's the thing maybe I missed about hungry. the first season. Oh, maybe they're not. I don't know. Like they used to grab bricks and stuff like that. I've mentioned yeah. that before. Well, they yeah. stopped that quick. Yeah, because they it was Frank Darabont's quick. thing. Yeah. Frank Darabont's thing. And even the little girl with getting back into that in the in the, the teddy first, bear with the teddy bear on the floor. Yeah. You know, we don't we obviously they cut that right out and said that these these walkers have no consciousness whatsoever. Yeah. They're just like walking around. But yeah, so it was. I mean, you guys liked the scene. I did enjoy the scene. Don't get me wrong. I did like the clotheslining of it. I think I just for a minute there they were going so fast it was like blurred out. Kind of looked a little cheesy. But it was a. Well, it had to for the. CGI. It was a cool. It was a cool. Um, you know, it was a cool scene in the end, and you know how I am about the zombies. I love how when we see those big herds and we see those, and that was quite a bit that of. That was them, a big. You know? That was fucking. Where that the fuck did that come from? And how come it came so fucking fast? I guess that's a, the time jump on those. Them, I guess they take because they're taking their time. Yeah. To un to disarm these fucking rolls of dynamite and whatnot and everything, and that hurt well, came up on them. The saviors, fast, the man. saviors obviously knew that they were coming. Yeah. And speaking of saviors, um, but as they did set up that trap, they also we get the walkie-talkie. Let's not forget the walkie-talkie message. So the whole time they're talking about Fat Joey, and. And, and uh, now we only have another. We used to call Skinny Joey. Now we yeah. just call Joey now. Now his yeah. name is Joey. Yeah. Yeah. Without Fat Joey, we have to call him. Yeah. Just so, Joey. So it's a it's a cool thing that that Jesus found that walkie talkie to begin with because now we get the we get the we overhear that they're gonna head to Alexandria and they better bust their ass back, um, uh, yeah. to Alexandria before. So you know. and boy, do they just get there in the nick of time? Fuck! So they roll in, and the gate's not even closed yet. And these ass bags, Simon, fucking Stephen Og, yeah. comes rolling in, you know. Yeah. And Rick, Rick, you know, he's like, "Oh, well, we don't have stuff for you." And he's like, "Yeah, well, uh, yeah, we're not that's here why for we're that. here." Yeah, and he's like, "Well, why, why else would you be?" You Rick know? played it that off. That was he very played well off. played off. I will give yeah. them that. That yeah, was yeah. amazingly played off. Meanwhile, he's like this. 
No, <laughs> we <laughs> sweating and fucking to the oldies, man. You know? yeah. yeah, we certainly didn't just get in the gate. <laughs> All right. So I mean, yeah, I mean, but it was fucking crazy. Now again, I piss piss me off. They're fucking. Ro- Why do you? Okay, so you you're there to search for data. Why the fuck are you running around knocking shit? Like, come on, you fucking to be douchebags. human yeah, douche just... douche rags. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You're a fucking dirty used douche rag. You pieces of Ooh. shit. It's not even a douchebag. You're a douchebag. Exactly. (laughs) I feel like that's more dirty. I don't know. The the douchebag is the bag that you put those douche rags into and you put that in the garbage. Oh, my God. Jesus. I just remembered something. They did justify the whole we just got in the gate thing by saying, saying yeah, we were just about to go out and get you guys some more stuff. stuff. Yeah. 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 I mean, look, that and, you know, and whether he believes them or not, that's fucking that that that's doesn't matter this is at this problem. point because he yeah, knows he look, he knows yeah. you know but my you know so uh touching on this what we what we didn't mention about the kingdom before they left they left yeah um Down. it was ezekiel so ezekiel says no obviously that they're not going to help him but they leave um they leave daryl there and he didn't want to stay but yeah. he's like no dude just trust me just fucking stay here smart and, and move smart move because lo and behold yeah. once they get fucking back like you guys said he's fucking they're looking for him yeah. um the other thing that we do see, and we didn't touch on it even in the very beginning, that we see Father Gabriel Sir. take a shit ton of fucking food and and what, weapons, right? He took all that shit? He took food, a bunch of weapons, weapons and knives. Yeah. Packs it into the back of a fucking truck, a uh, sedan, and takes off. I have a theory on that now. Because he did leave boats in the flip-down Bible that Rick and them find. He was going to go store that there but how did he know about the boat? Where it was? Well, I think that that boot that we've been looking at war was not Daryl, uh, Dwight. No, yeah, um, that's obvious now. Yeah, yeah, it was one of these what they're calling the gar- garbage pail kids. Who the I people, call them the trash compact people kids. we saw. It, yeah, I call them garbage ass kids. So these fucking these uh, douche nuggets at the end of the fucking episode. So obviously, so that person knows that that boat is there. D- yeah. Do we think that this person made Father Gabriel do this? Oh, no, that's because a good no, idea. because he he had the book in the house still. Father Gabriel didn't know that this guy was in the car. He pops up when he's leaving. So that was pre as a precursor. He wrote that before he left the gates. Oh uh, yeah, true. How did he know about the boat? Did they tell him? They told him. I don't him. remember. Yeah, they must have they said must something. Have. Maybe Aaron, Aaron told him. Maybe yeah. Aaron told Oh, well, yeah, because didn't Aaron say something? Possibly. It could have. It could have. I don't think we, we, we could speculate on any, that yeah. phrase, though. So. All right, well, either way. Is, my thing about that whole, you know, because obviously um, we see in the beginning uh, from, from the little sneak peek that that this is that person that was spying on Gabriel in the first place. And I think in the beginning of the episode, um, when we were doing the live reaction, that we were like, "Oh, this Gabriel better not fuck around now," because he's like, he's he 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 wants to leave. Then he come. Then he's like, "I'm with you, Rick." And now, so I think we did get that that um, you know, we definitely got the idea that he's he's he was gonna hide these somewhere. Yeah, he's gonna stash them. That's what, that's what I think. Why why did why did he leave that note so like? Inconspic- well, yeah, but how this would they know I that he would look at the back th- page? Th- and why would they know that meant Because anything? Rick is very observant. A Christian man like Gabriel, a preacher, would not leave his Bible there in that state. So that's why he, he was like, I better look through this because this I is guess, definitely a clue. Exactly. Situation, exactly. You know? But he's taking a chance that they're going to see that last page and think it means anything. No, well, then again, obviously, it could be obviously they boat. did though. Like, like he knows that it was a like, well, that that's was the, the point. show that made them be able to figure it out so quick. You know I don't what know. I mean? I don't know. It, it was good. I guess it, we'll it see. Well I guess, yeah, I guess we'll. I guess we'll see what happens with them because obviously weak, in the end, definitely a weak point. But uh, before we get before we end, let's just talk about these garbage fucking pale bitches. Um, this is the weakest part of the episode for me. I was yeah. like, yeah. Oh, come on. Another At first, group. I was like. At first, we were like, oh, yeah, another group. Okay. Then it's like, oh, and then you see the, the previews, which are there. Oh, you got to pay. You got to buy your life back. Oh, the, 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 the. And it's like. Yeah, uh, our lives are already owned on, by man. the sea. Yeah, yeah. Well, how about Rick Smirk? That says oh, yeah. it all. Well, That's no. That was, a very, that was the only, for me, the only redeeming part of that whole 
um, bit because it was like he sees no, we it got like our army. I'm gonna fucking yeah. make these people work for me now. Yeah, that I like, but. That's very conniving of Rick, actually. No, fuck <laughs> it, dude. You know what's going to fucking happen. They're going to be like, okay, yeah. you have to fight for your lives. They're going to fucking decimate. And he's going to be like, guess what, motherfuckers? You're now work for me, and we're going to go kick this motherfucker. It says it. He says it. He, you hear him yeah. talk about the saviors. So obviously this group knows about the saviors, right? So he's going to fucking make them Well, if they don't, they will. Well, yeah, we we think that they, you know, I don't think we necessarily. I, ha- I kind of take, take it in that they that they're not working they're with. under the radar i don't so. think the i don't i agree but that's so so rick is going to inform them number one number two if you th- think you're safe now eventually you're going to be fucked because if negan finds you kind of a thing and plus yeah. if these guys are fucking scavengers and like fucking like you know rats that fucking take they probably be like yo we'll plunder those motherfuckers plus those all look like capable yeah. motherfuckers however yeah. don't you think it's a little too hey rick you needed another group here you go. Like, ah, all right. Well, that's I thought we got cheap. that. Didn't you think we got that with Oceanside? Well, so oh, now but Oceanside. More yeah, oh, right. God, this is like a plague coming back to haunt us, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know, man. But <laughs> fucking... You keep bringing up but that overall, episode, Mike. I mean, Come on, man. But, dude, they were there for a reason. But at least they, at least they were, at least, and where the fuck is Heath? We still don't Who's know. Who's that? Who? Who knows? Heath. I, the, I don't, the, I don't the other guy. Oh, 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 Heath. The guy with the yeah. He's doing 24, so he's not around right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's true. Oh, <laughs> that shit, that's right. That TPP is him. Or a TPP or whatever. You yeah. know, so he's he's quitting for a little while. We might not see him for a little while. So you know? the thing is, you know, I think, I think uh, again, I, so I have, I have a lot of mixed feelings about this this group. Good, great that they're going to get some people. Great, because we need them. Um, Cannon fodder. That's what I think of them as. <sighs> no, I actually think maybe like um, the hilltop or the cannon fodder. And the kingdom oh and my these God. guys are... Fu- uh, come on! Come on, man! No, no. These guys are going to be the cannon fodder that we forget about. They're going to be integrated into, like, the hilltop oh, and oh, kingdom yeah, if they win. Yeah. Well, well, I think this what, what this what this shows me by these, you know, with these two... With, with the Oceanside group, without bringing them up again, but I have to. Uh, Oceanside, and now these garbage pail fuckers, right? That just... That's going to show... In the end, when it all plays out, when this war is finally going to come, we're going to see that the Saviors have a lot of fucking people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because yeah. they're not going to m- introduce these groups. They're not going to introduce Oceanside. They're not going to introduce, um, you know, this these Garbage Pail kids for no reason. You know, there is going to be a fucking shitload of Saviors. Yeah. You know? I think, do you think? Do you think that how we've been getting these big, huge herds of walkers. Look at the CGI there. Look at this ginormous thing. And now it's going to be like, oh, shit, look at all of these fucking people. This is the the most people we've ever had, human beings, on screen at once. No. You I know what I'm saying? I think it's going to be a lot less CGI than we think. No, 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 no. But I'm saying humans. people-wise. Yeah. We've never seen. Yeah. It's going to be per- It's going to be fucking Civil War, and it's going to be a shit ton of people. Do you know yeah, what I'm well. saying? Like, we've never seen that. That's like, that's, yeah. a, that's you know... We haven't seen you that never, you never, people. yeah, you never would have thought that, you know, up until you know when we first were really introduced to Woodbury. Like, whoa, there's other fucking, yeah. there's other communities out but there. But even you then, know? their fighters were dead. They weren't there that many fighters. You had he no, had a but group, the, you, know, but, you know, but they had just, more fighters just, in the siege on the prison. That's true. Yeah, no, that's true. But you know, it, like like we always said, we mentioned this a million times, and I know I mentioned it. The first couple seasons were just the threat were the walkers. The threat were the walkers. And that's what it should be in and, the beginning of the apocalypse. Yes, but yeah. but they could have, you know, that, that's not how this the story was obviously written. They could have stumbled upon multiple, you know, other communities, other people by Herschel. Or, you know, we, we did get a hint with uh, uh, Tony and uh, and um, from the bar. You know, oh, the, all those two guys, yeah. yeah but then yeah, and there's know, also don't forget hit. you had Terminus, and then you had the Wolves, yeah. and then you had Tony that's and Mike. later on. That's fourth season, fifth season. Yeah. So yeah, you know. So now it's totally about these other people that that yeah. want your shit, and um, maybe we'll get into. You know, if you're reader of the comic books like you guys are, we know what's coming, and um, oh, yeah. hopefully we see that. You know, because mm-hmm. I love the Walker. I love those those fights, and I love. Um, going back to the roots of the show. You yeah. know? Now, before we end, because I'm sure we're getting close here, what was your guys' yeah. favorite scenes? 
What do you think, Chris? You start us off. Um, I'm going to say um, the, uh, the road scene. I, I think the whole road scene was my best and worst because I love yeah. the Walker stuff. Although the dynamite shit was hilarious and yeah, unrealistic. Was. The Walker <laughs> shit was fucking dope. And uh, the but the end of that Walker part was stupid when Rick and Michonne are, are pushing the zombies away. Like it was like although Ugh. the explosion after they leave is freaking hilarious. <laughs> no. Yeah, it was just like eh, but but still fun. So I think uh, I knew something didn't look right about that. Yeah, but I mean, uh, but and but then I also want to say that there were there were parts of the dialogue, um, the men to, like the the dudes like talking back and forth where I was just like. That's, that's I didn't, what like, I was like. I didn't like during all our reaction. I just didn't yeah. even talk. I, I was just yeah. like, oh, I was yeah. like, I was so yeah. enthralled in listening to everything mm -hmm. they had to say between the um, Benjamin and uh, Ezekiel talking outside the room, uh, Morgan talking to them outside there. You know, Rick's even story. Jesus and Richard talking. Like I just, I enjoyed the dialogue in this. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and enjoyed everyone talking. I, I really, I just, I actually really enjoyed this episode. This is a yeah. fucking really good episode for me. Yeah. You know, Mike. So, Mike, what do you got? Well, no, I'm, I'm going to jump on uh, uh, with, with jump on with Chris. I think the dialogue part uh, uh, between Rick, I loved Rick telling the story, and I said, "Oh fuck yeah!" I didn't even mention that. That was that is hands we, down. Yeah. My did we even scene. mention that? Because we that was no, no, that I, was actually. I, yeah, no, I I think um, that dialogue between them between Ezekiel because they they're really good actors. You know, so overall, I did love the scene, and I mentioned this already uh, when they first walk into the auditorium, and the whole group is just like hovering against the wall because they're they're like there's that a fucking good, tiger yeah. on the stage. Um, yeah, so overall, I, I definitely think that um, the dialogue and the, and the acting in this episode were were spot on. There wasn't necessarily one particular scene, uh, you know, or, or or not, you know, between them. But I did like how how Ezekiel was was called like Rick from a Rick of Alexandria and all this yeah. very, you know, uh, kingdom trauma and medieval. Yeah. How about yeah, medieval. Jerry? Don't yeah. interrupt the yeah. king. Jerry. Yeah. So I'm yeah, no, Jerry, the acting, man. the acting was great. Yeah. Bringing Jerry in this episode was amazing, yeah. Yeah. but that story that, so it wasn't even just a story that captivated me. It was Ezekiel's reaction to the story. Yeah. yeah. He played off of it very well. Like you saw at the end, he was getting somewhat emotional. You could see like a little bit of water forming in his eyes, and it, it was really well done, subtly done, but really well done because he was connecting with the story. Yes, the king foresaw that someone, being not of a greedy self, would come along, remove the rock from the road, and receive a great fortune for doing that which others would not. Mm -hmm. And it's foreshadowing what the kingdom will do. The others are coming to help, true. But they're not coming to help in the way that the kingdom can come to help with weapons and people and more knowledge right. of the saviors and their abilities. Yeah. Uh, uh, right. That was good. Yeah. Or I'm reading too much into it. No, <laughs> no. I, I, no, I, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. <laughs> we're both already going, mm-hmm, mm -hmm, yep, yep. Uh, it was fucking amazing. And, and again, that, that just is why I think that fucking this was a really good episode, you know? Oh, yeah. Um, all right, guys. Well, I think that's about to. We're gonna. That's gonna do it for us for this particular episode. This is you know season seven, episode nine, Rock in the Road. Uh, before we do go, where we want to mention once again, I'm sure you can see there on the screen, our friends from ComicBlitz.com, and right. what you can get with that. And what that is is if you use the promo code Third Person Pod, you get yourself some. Uh, you get yourself unlimited comics from their from their subscription service. You can get those. Um, either one of their subscription uh, plans, you can get. Uh, the first three months for only a dollar a month so for the first three months you get you pay three bucks and you get three months of unlimited comics using that promo yep. code third person pod uh they've right. got over 4500 comics um some some really big labels uh publishers some really big comic series so once you go to have get yourself some comics get yourself start a series finish a series you know pick up where you left off whatever you got to do but um yeah so go ahead and use that and um you know and let us know what you're reading because um, uh, that yeah, might be something idea. that we do on this channel very, very soon. Um, right. So we want to know what you guys are reading. Uh, and I think that's going to do it for us here. Don't forget we have our QFig giveaway still going on. We have three QFigs yeah. left as of the recording of this video. So why don't you get in there, get yourself um, signed up to win. We've already got one winner, and so we're happy about that. Congratulations. So good luck to everyone that's going to enter and uh, go for there. Guys, anything else that I, that I didn't mention? 
That'll do it. Social media, so. at Third Person Pod. Guys, you want to throw us questions or anything besides just the comments? At Third Person Pod on Instagram and um, Gmail or uh, Twitter, any of that stuff, you can get to us there. It's very quick, it's easy, and we'll get back to you too. And we'd love to have feedback on there too. So, guys, thank you very much for watching, and uh, we will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.